Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorlini Test Prep. Today we'll be going over lesson number eight on how to use Desmos for the digital SAT math. Evaluating functions. Let's get started. So, whenever you see function notation with f of or g of a number, something like that, uh, the number inside the parentheses always tells you your function input or your x. So basically, you want to plug in x equals 2 into f of x for this problem. Now, if you have negative numbers or larger, more complicated functions, that can be a lot of work to do by hand. And it can even be really hard to type into a calculator, especially if x is negative. Because if you don't use lots of parentheses, sometimes uh, you'll make a mistake typing it in, and the calculator will give you the wrong answer. So there's a really convenient way to go do this on Desmos. First, you type in your function. And then on a separate line, you type in the x value you're trying to evaluate. So we're going to type in f of x equals x cubed plus 9, and then f of 2. So let's do that. <laughs> type in f of 2, and it tells me f of 2 is 17. So f of 2 equals 17, and my final answer is C. Great, let's move on. Pause this video, see if you can do it, now that you have some idea of what to do. So um, again, we don't have to use this just for functions named f. We can use it for g, h, i, j, most letters. And uh, this one tells me x equals 8. So that means we need to find g of 8. So a little bit less obvious. You had to recognize that. But now once you realize that, you just type it in. So let's go to Desmos. And g of x equals 10x plus 8. And then we want to do g of 8. So g of 8. And it tells me g of 8 is equal to 88. Great, so let's write that down. And then if this were a longer problem, you could write that down and, and solve the rest of it. So it's still helpful even for different types of questions. And the answer for this one is D. All right, let's do one more. Now this question is where it really shines, okay? Where this strategy really shines. When you have to evaluate multiple functions at once as part of an expression. So pause this video and see if you can do it now that you have some idea what to do. So we're going to go to Desmos and type in all these functions. So let me refresh here. So f of x equals x plus 7. And g of x equals 7x. And now we want to evaluate 4f of 2 minus g of 2. So watch, just type it exactly as written, 4f of 2 minus g of 2. Ah, and it tells me 4f of 2 minus g of 2 is 22. So let's go and lock in answer choice C, because that is 22. So 4f of 2 minus g of 2 was 22. Great, so you see for this question, that saved us at least a little bit of arithmetic. So we could have gotten the answer probably slightly faster and more reliably than if we did it by hand, or if we typed it into a calculator without using this method. Awesome. Just a quick sidebar. Um, you could use this strategy as part of solving a larger question, a longer question. I just tried to focus on questions where this is most of what you had to do, just to show you how useful the strategy can be for those types of questions. It's useful for other types of longer questions as well. So try to see if you can apply it and keep it in your back pocket as you're solving different problems as well during the course of your study. OK, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you are interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by, and good luck studying.